So we come to the second project of automation, which is another CNC project. This one's a, a little micro mill, uh, starting off with a Proxon MF70, which I got second hand, well, sort of brand new, but from a local dealer that was selling stock that had been returned um, as not required so it was in pristine condition but as you can see the Y and the X axis are still driven by thumb screws uh, um, cogs but the um, Z axis I have now modified with a NEMA 23 which is a little bit overkill really but we'll see how it goes I may have be able to substitute that for a, um, a NEMA 17 but it seems to be working fine as it is so I won't um, using a, a, a typical um, Chaiwanese um, uh, driver board here uh, 6550 TB 6550 um, it was the original eball one but um, obviously that outgrew itself. So I've still got I've got all the electronics. I've got all the other motor, the older motors that were small, too small for Ebor. So this is born of Ebor, as it were. So it's called Minim E, Minim E. Um, yeah, crazy. Um, anyway, so um, just to start it up, here we see the, the display that comes with it. It's a bit rudimentary, um, but it does work. It functions pretty damn well. So it's not a direct drive, it's, it's, it's a one-to-one -one, um, belt drive um, using GT2 cogs here. And if I just run it up, you'll see the inner cog just needs centering a bit. But as you see, it's, it's pretty damn smooth. And it will go. There's virtually well, there is no backlash, thankfully. So I'm pretty pleased with the way that's set up. Now, obviously, all three axes will will be um, retrofitted with um, motors. As I say, I'm not sure what size yet, but that will be the next step. But anyway, that's that's tonight's job, and that was a lot further than I thought it was gonna be pretty well smooth that the actual CNC version of this um, this mill by Proxon is um, getting on for 1700 quid so at the moment I've got about 170 quid into this so that's uh, and that's including the um, that's including the um, micro mill so um, I'm pretty well chuffed about that um, and we'll see how it goes with the next axes I'm gonna get Ebor to mill the brackets, or I might just do them by hand, but uh, be a bit exercise um, to mill the brackets for the um, for the X and Y axes. So we'll see how that goes. But I've got all the drivers, uh, I've got all the motors, got all the, all the bits, just except for the um, for the couplings here, which I'll need to get. And I'm not entirely sure yet whether they're going to be direct drive or, or um, whether they're going to go on a on a on a dog leg here. And uh, become just small belt drive one to one again. Um, jury's out on that one as well. Anyway, that's the first video of the um, Mini Me project. I mean, you can see Mr. Revox in the background. Um, these are sort of evening jobs. I st I'm still waiting the um, I'm still waiting for the components for this to come from Germany. So that that's just sitting there waiting for um, bits. Right, take care.